These are the steps we took to bring these hub blanks to a finished size. In a previous video we showed how we took rough oak blocks down to round. We can now use the three and a half inch hole for our bull nose instead of the rotors. In taking these from the 24 inch links to the 20th 20 inch links we left roughly two inch long donuts on either end for our chuck to hold on to. Then we faced off the blanks to the finished links and turned the ends to their correct sizes. This is the outer end of the hub that will be 13 inches. So we take off the, the rough shavings and when we measure for the diameter it's actually more accurate to measure the circumference. So we'll take a measurement on the circumference which will tell us just exactly where we are on our diameters. This is a more accurate method. So once the diameters are correct, we turn the length of the hub between the bands to their correct length. And when we are to the correct length there, we could turn off the remaining excess of the wood. You can see this is the second half of the hub. The first half being the inside larger diameter has already been turned off and put into shape. So it's just a matter of getting rid of the excess wood and taking these down to the finished sizes. So once we have the finish size here and we take off all the, the rough shavings, we'll actually do the same thing to check our diameters. We'll take our soft tape and measure the circumference and make sure we are on our correct diameters. Once our diameter is established, then we are going to mark where the spoke bands will be. These are the metal bands that will actually fit up right close to the spoke. It also uh, helps us to know exactly where the spoke mortises are going to go when we come to that point. So to give us a point of reference when we finish turning this we'll actually put a pencil mark that'll show us where the band is going to be. And then on the outer end we'll take a piece of metal that's the same thickness as the outer hub band and we'll put a mark there so we know how deep to go so that the turning will come out flush with the hub band. From here it's just handwork uh, using a heavy chisel and uh, this is a time to be kind of cautious. There's knots in these big blocks that can grab the chisel. So these are fairly large chisels. Um, but this is a, a time to be kind of careful and bring them down to their size. These will be kind of an S-shaped curve when they're finished. It's a common style in wagon hubs.
So here we're getting down close to our mark. And we're going to be careful not to go past because we don't want the wood to be down underneath the outer hub band. And then once we have that down to its proper size, then we'll go back and we'll work the upper part of this S-curve and we'll take it into where the spoke band will be. Now where we have it to where we think we're pretty close, I actually have a pattern made that we can check our curves so that these hubs end up being uniform hub to hub. So here we are at the finished size from our octagon to our round to now they actually look like a wagon hub. This quite a little larger. So we appreciate you watching. The next step will be cutting the mortises in where the spokes go. Thanks for watching.